Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzer and welcome back to another vehicle showcase video And of course on the last episode we did the uh, Performance vehicle so make sure to go check that episode out if you haven't yet And today we're gonna be taking a look if you've read the title and that is of course the compact vehicles that are available to us in Lego City undercover so without further ado uh, let me set the launch point and go to the compact options now of course i'm gonna keep the vehicle colors set to their normal um sizes and i'm not sure like i understand compact meaning that it's kind of smaller cars but there are a couple of kind of oddballs uh that kind of seem way too big to be in the compact category now that being said ladies and gentlemen of course i'd like to hear your opinion on each and every single video uh, vehicle and let me know which your which is your favorite vehicle out of the compact category so our first uh, is the asos or the asos or ace so ace so i'm not sure how you want to pronounce that uh, but it's basically the orange mobile that's what i call it and it looks kind of like um i don't remember the name of that uh, vehicle that exists in real life i think cube or something like that it looks very similar to that particular style now this is the crafter or crater or greater sorry i misread that this right here, the one that we're looking at right now, is the Crafter. Yes. Okay, uh, it kind of got a very, uh, I don't know, almost like a Pixar movie look to it, you know what I mean? Next up is the Flare. Very bright and purpley pink. Very, very bright colors and very exciting. That's a pretty cool looking car. So, of course, as you can see, it kind of usually houses just one uh, passenger. That's kind of the theme with the compact vehicles. Next up after that, my fa personal favorite, and that is Rex's Gallican. Look at that thing. That thing is absolutely awesome. It's got three wheels. Look at that thing. It's like a motorcycle car. I love this thing. It looks like it came out of Tron. I don't know. This thing is spectacular. It's got a speed boost right at the bottom. It's awesome. This is definitely my favorite. I love the little logo up at the front there. Definitely cool. So, let's carry on. Continuing onwards now this is the one that i don't know why it's in the compact category and that vehicle is the ancestor Th does this look compact to you guys sure doesn't look compact to me <laughs> it's like twice as big as the galley can and probably twice as tall too so i'm not really sure why that's in the compact category but that being said it's there so it is what it is i guess now of course guys don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite vehicle here is the grass man, which uh, obviously you used to. Guess what? Cut the grass. It even has the little uh, grass noise, which is pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Or grass noise. Yeah, because grass makes noise. No, grass cutting noise. Okay. Ne next one is the Hestia. Uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, it's an oddball looking vehicle because the front and the back look very, very similar. Uh, kind of almost like a minivan type feel to it. Very kind of... N not... Uh, unique in any way kind of more generic looking um one of the more generic looking vehicles now this one's pretty funny this is the schmoozer and uh i assume it's kind of one of those vehicles that you know you go up to the mountain uh, to watch a movie or something like that in a horror movie and then you know one thing leads to another you know what schmoozing means so uh i don't know though this is a single uh, passenger so yeah uh, insert funny jokes there okay so that's the schmoozer Let's carry on, going into compact uh, features back again. This is the Arbalast, which is probably one of the coolest names for a vehicle. I love the name of this uh, car, Arbalast. I don't know, I just really think that that's a really cool kind of uh, name describing speed and stuff, which again, makes me feel like this car should have been in the performance um, category that we already covered. This is the Downforce. Uh, which looks very similar to kind of like the police car that uh, we see uh, without all the police logos and stuff like that blaster uh, plastered all over it so uh, definitely got a kind of very generic look to it without any paint and such so that's uh, definitely not one of the most exciting vehicles in the game next up after that is the jalopy or jalopy or halopy whatever you want to call it uh, kind of almost like a camping vehicle something you would take to a camping site or something along those lines at least in my mind Right up after the Jalopy or Halopy, another one, my, my second favorite vehicle, and that is the Sevilla. Awesome, I mean, look at that, it's like a, it's like an awesome uh, ATV. Who doesn't love ATVs? They look flippin' cool. I love the big engine in the back, it's pretty awesome. I love this thing, it looks cool. Definitely a unique looking vehicle. And it's really nice to have uh, something like this in LEGO City. Uh, right up after that, we've got the Cabra Con, which I guess is the Cobra uh, Con. 
uh, vehicle. Very cool. Definitely got a very old school feel to it overall with the design and such. And the bright pink doesn't really help it much, but nonetheless, it looks kind of cool. All right, right up after that. Now, of course, I didn't mention there are a total of 18 uh, compact vehicles, and I will be doing a video that features all the different vehicles, so be on the lookout for that as well. Right up after that, we've got the Pumpkin, which uh, is a very, very cute vehicle. It's actually what Natalia Kowalski drives in the game, which is our main hero's... Uh, love interest. Uh, the one thing that I find kind of interesting about this vehicle is that the both doors, both side doors, look like bricks, don't they? Like, I know it's Lego bricks, but they look like kind of like a brick design, don't they? I don't know, I just found that to be kind of oddballish. Uh, but definitely something you'd see like uh, maybe Legally Blonde Drive or something like that. Okay. Well, actually, she sh probably shouldn't be driving. Okay, and then after that, our final vehicle in the compact features, and that is the Smallissimo, which is definitely the smart car of the game. Now, it's kind of hilarious when you do, sorry, when you do this with the smart car, because you're like, oh my god, who would do that to a smart car? Like, that's <laughs> ridiculous. Why would you speed boost a smart car? But, I don't know, I just think that that is really, really funny. So, let me just uh, double check that, oh no, sorry, there's two more vehicles. Goodness gracious, how could I have missed that? My goodness. Good thing I uh, checked it, huh? Huh? Otherwise, you guys would be like, what the heck? Let's ring on. You lied to us. So this is the squeaky. Uh, kind of almost looks like... Um... <coughs> Sorry. Whoa. I just choked on, on some spit. Pumpkin. Uh, kind of looks like the pumpkin, you know, that pink car that we just looked at that belongs to Nat uh, Natalia Kowalski. Uh, definitely in the same vein. Oh, yeah, and how could I forget? The Talus. Talus is one of my also favorites. It kind of looks like an RC car, doesn't it? I mean, it's basically like driving an RC car, which is pretty awesome. I mean, how could you go wrong with this thing? It's pretty cool looking, too, and I love the kind of neon bluish uh, green hue. Uh, to the default color. It's pretty gosh darn cool. And there you have it guys. That is gonna conclude the compact vehicle Showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button to show me that you guys want to see showcases for all the other vehicles. Now, some people asked, will I be doing one for the flying vehicles? Yes, I will be. So be on the lookout for that. I'm very excited to showcase all the cool UFOs, planes, and helicopters, as well as some other uh, oddball vehicles that are available in that category as well so please hit that like button of course subscribe if you haven't yet share this video with the family and friends so that they can voice their opinion on which is their favorite vehicle and then you could get into a little argument about which is the best compact uh, vehicle in lego city undercover so i'll catch you guys next time hope you have a terrific day peace out or fan flippantastic day as i usually say peace out and see you later